Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a warrior woman resting. We mark the top and then a circle for the head, for the cranium, a line for the face and then let's sketch roughly and rapidly the shape of the torso. Let's draw the arm going down. It will be holding some of her weight. And then we can come back and draw a little bit more detail. The shape of her armor. She will have an armor. As she is sitting, we can draw the upper leg up and the lower leg close to her body. Maybe not so close. <laughs> and the other leg behind it. Now let's draw the features. I often start with the eyebrow, then the eye, nose and mouth. All right, we can draw her a helmet. As I mentioned earlier, she will have an armor. So let's do that. By the way, I am drawing with my favorite pencil, the Tuto 3 mechanical pencil, which is very handy because has three different leads in one pencil. But of course, you can do this with a regular pencil or with a couple of different pencils. Some softer for the darks and some harder for the lights. The list of the materials that I am using is in the description below the video. Now let's draw the foot and the shoe. Let's draw her a female warrior boot. I am drawing on grey toned paper because in this way I can easily add some white highlights. In this way we can give a nice metallic look to the armor. Ok, we'll wrap the sketch up and before doing any of the shading I will clean up the drawing a little bit with a fine eraser. This is also the time to correct anything, like the helmet and add an orifice for the ear. And now I switch to a softer lead to do the darks. To render the high polished, highly reflected metal, let's remember to do a good contrast of darks and lights. And now let's switch to a much harder lead to draw the lighter tones. In this case the harder lead is also smaller. It is a 0.3 mm. While the softer lead I have is also thicker. It is a 0.7 mm. And there is an additional one in the middle, which is the one I used for the sketch. I'm making a Roman sort of helmet with the feathers on top. Ok, very good. Having done this, we are ready to draw the lights. As I mentioned, we can add lights with a white pencil because we are drawing on the toned paper. The upper part of the face should be in shadow because of the helmet. And to create some really intense highlights, we can use a pigment marker. Good, this is really fun. Let's make a little bit more detail and then we repeat the process, drawing the shades and then the lights to create the metallic look. In the case of the skin, since it is much less reflective, we don't have neither the darker darks or the lightest lights. We add a shadow and the light to the skin, but very softly. We consider that the light source is toward the top left, so the lights and the brighter reflections will be facing that side. I want the gloves to also be metallic, so we give it the same type of treatment. Alright, and now let's draw her sword. We can place it here, between her feet. I think that would be alright. And she will be looking at it straight on. If you made it all the way to this point, I would love to know about it. Please write me in the comments the super secret code, Feathers of a Warrior. And talking about feathers, I just erased the longer ones because I didn't like them. Very good, excelente, it's ready. 
if you enjoyed it please give it a like subscribe to fine art tips if you haven't done so already click on the little bell to get notifications of new videos and i will see you with more art on tuesday